this one right there. It's ready. Thank you. Blessed day, beautiful people. So today we're about to show you all this delicious fruit we have right here. Wow, that blue sky is popping. Keep this one here. So, all right. So, just gonna show. So, before we do that, babe, mm -hmm. let me just show the you? the tree itself. So, let me give you all guys some. Let me give you all some details. So, this is the this is the trunk of the tree. These are. It's roots. Smell the leaves. Let me get close what, and what personal. What do you see the leaves look like? The leaves look like... Mm. Um, <laughs> hmm. It's unique. Mm -hmm. yeah. Probably if I see another... Probably when I grapefruit comes to my mind, but grapefruit, yeah, Might have been. grapefruit. I think, I'm not sure. But it's a unique leaf. I'm not sure. Look at the, um, look at the details in here. Let me show you. This is the back, so you can identify this tree in your island or country or wherever you base. But by its fruits, you can identify it. It has a elongated shape and when it's ready it will turn ripe and when it's really ready really ready <laughs> and over ripe you'll fall to the ground and if you get here before the, the insects birds. or birds do yeah. then you will have a really fully you'll have a fully ripe and it, it, bears, it bears a lot of fruits. It does. We um, are just under it here, and I'm just going around to show you all these fruits. This tree is average size. Normally, the tree would be shorter than this. Like, the tree would be shorter or smaller. And sometimes mm -hmm. the tree gets, like, real tall also. But it's a sort of branchy kind of tree, plenty mm -hmm. branch. Yes. I would like to show a flower, I wonder. Oh, like a um, blossom? Yeah, the blossom. There's a small one right here. Yeah, I just like popped me. I just popped me iron one. Let me see if I could get it close for you all. It looks like a saw, Right so there. That's what I want Yes, to see. it looks like a it actually started um producing its fruits similar to a saw so so as you can see right here, there's a small one right here. And there's even a smaller one here, babe, right here. Yeah. At the end of this branch here. If you want to grab it, let me, uh, oh, there's a smaller one. There's even a smaller one. I saw it just right here, right here. Right, here too. Okay, lovely. That's really good. Okay, so. If you can just lift up for me, good. Okay. Okay, second. Second eye. Okay. Let's see. Okay, I think we got it. Alright, so this. Let me share with my, my finger. I have to zoom up. Very again. small. See that? Oh, it's not. It's not. Um, can you? Can you click the screen? All right. There we go. See how small it started, and then goes to this one here.
can see Sana look like that. It's so much stuff on mm here. -hmm. And then imagine this compared to this. So the fruit actually has a long way to go. It does. And um for us we never we never pick the fruit green and put it to ripe. We always try to get it on the point where it's turning. Like this one up here. Like this one right there. Yeah, about to put now. This one right there, it's ready. Yes, babes. Thank you. I'm always getting this one is for you. <laughs> okay, so so what we have here, it's called. The rotation so you can see you see that let me get the sun so you see that kind of elongated it always has that point at the end let's let's look a bit closer and when this. it's Go ahead, okay, you hold. Um, I was about to say when it's really ripe like when it's overripe it actually started like starts to bust at the top like you get lines opening up and then when you're about to pick it on the tree like if it's really riper than this one you will see it like it's really soft in here and then you when you're going it. to pick it you'll have to be careful because if you just pull it off without breaking it on top here the whole thing probably would come off <laughs> and the center stack will stay on the tree and the fruit will be left in your hand so it's best to always break it like this even though it's not fully ripe because when it's when it's fully ripe it's like a very vibrant orange color and so is the inside pulp so check out this right if you see in here you see in all these little lines almost like a sour soap or custard apple mm -hmm. um sugar apple, sugar sorry. apple. seeing all these lines so it's in the same family it's in the family of it see that yeah so this one we know this one as you know this one um <laughs> chebef all right yeah we know this fruit as chebef custard apple monkey apple um what's another one from painting pond apple pond apple <laughs> alligator apple um some people say this is cherry moa i've found that cherry moa is something different but um, I guess, you know, over time, how the stories pass down, people call it similar names and people call it different names. Mm -hmm. But this is what it looks like. And then, really no, don't bust it, it open. Right. Um, in your country or island, you will call this a different name. We will yeah. be happy to know because we're always looking for the other names and their um, origin that it came from. So um even some people say that that's not custard apple yeah true you know so we would really like to find the ancient names for these fruits and not yep. those that change over modern um over, over this time. time you know so um there is a brown fruit we are looking for on the island we saw yes. it once before we never tasted it before it's smooth like this one and people do say that this one is a custard apple so we have seen it one place before and we're gonna find it again i mean definitely put together a video on that and show you guys that other one um uses all right so the uses you'll have well one of the main uses we know on the island is to put it in smoothies right. it's rich it's rich it's creamy it's thick it's a belly full yeah, sure. <laughs> when you when you have this drink you don't need any meal for the rest of the day so that's a good treat to grow um, especially for your children that always went in the fridge for sure <laughs> Gosh. So basically, that is it. Like smoothies, <laughs> I never use it any other way. No. Yeah. So smoothies is about definitely a jam? the way to go. Hmm. You should be able to make a jam because when you when you actually blend this, it makes a thick pop, mm -hmm. almost like sauce up. Oh, and it has lots of seeds, like the sugar apple and, and the like sauce the sauce up here. Yeah. So it's it's for sure in the family of it. Sure. What's your footer? Oh, if you come in here. Yeah, I was going to. Uh, luckily. So, so that's that. This one fell maybe some 
days, days ago, ago the, fr- the, the, the insects or birds or whatever got it so this this is the seed this is the seed and it comes with a lot of seeds yep a lot I'll try to go see if I get one on the ground that fell didn't we see one when we came so that's that's a green one stay tuned we'll definitely put together a video on how we use this yeah we will we will for sure And our smoothies are pretty much simple with very few ingredients. You don't need a long list of ingredients. Yeah. I think I saw one. No? I didn't. I mean, that's a leaf. This one down there is a leaf. Oh no, false alarm. <laughs> so that wasn't one. That's okay. It was a blessing having you guys on this adventure with dng and much more peace and love blessing